Hello my friends, welcome to this video and this video is talking about systems and the value of systems and listening to the right people. So having studied a lot of uh, great information, I came across ideas like this is to plug into a system. You have to ask yourself what really a system is. What is the benefit of plugging into a system? So the idea is this, is that you want to deal with people that have been where you were and have gotten what you want. So specifically it could be, you know, a great body or uh, lots of wealth, all, all these other different things. And the whole idea is that you don't want to just listen to some guy who has great gimmicks and who has great marketing tactics. You want to listen to the guy that actually, where he's actually done it. And this person has actually been eating his own cooking. So it's like, you know, uh, don't do, do as I say rather than do as I do. That This is where a lot of people actually talk about. They have this attitude where they say that something is like, something should be done a certain way or... Uh, or something like this. It's like the whole idea is that I would rather see a sermon rather than hear one any day. So the meaning behind that is, is that there's a lot of people in church saying like, oh, feed the poor, uh, help the needy, and all this other good stuff, right? Yeah, it's a very good positive message, but if that person is really oh, not really doing that himself in his life, he's kind of like just saying it. So just say, it, that's the biggest thing. You know, what you do speaks loud and clear but what you say I cannot hear you know so, so these people could be saying all these different things so back to the val value and importance of a system a system allows you to do a systematic way a step-by-step -step way where you could actually measure your results tangibly and this is the reason why I'm actually uh, you know reviewing this this book it's called the Originally, it was called the Convict Conditioning Program, or Convict, so I just changed it to Super, super Champion Conditioning, you know, because I'm a super champion, and you gotta make the book your own. So, what's good about this book is that it uh, gives you a step-by-step -step way. So, the whole premise behind this book called Convict Conditioning is that there are, there are people, you know, in uh, jails that actually get super strong and super, uh, functionally strong not just like you know they look like a bulldozer they could actually lift a bulldozer that's that that's the idea that they could do uh, tons of uh, push-ups pull-ups one-arm push-ups one-arm pull-ups and all these different things so there was this guy apparently the the author of the book you know I can't really verify his information things like this but what he claims to do have been in jail for like 20 years and he became a coach and he studied the original techniques that people used called basically using the weight of the body in order to train the body. The benefits he explains that uh, using body training as opposed to weight training is that the body muscles were actually created in order for you to move your body around. So as you can functionally move your body around much better, what happens is that you develop proportionally beautiful looking muscles. He cites like, you know, Greek and Roman statues where these Olympic athletes, they had the greatest shapes of bodies before people had these modern gyms, before people had these machines and all these other things also. Also, another point that he makes is that there are certain exercises that he mentions in the book, like uh, one-arm pull-ups, uh, one-arm push-ups and things like this, that even some of the greatest bodybuilding champions can do. And another point he makes also is that when you do something systematically, step by step, you're actually keeping yourself from getting injuries. Uh, what he cites is that it's not natural for the body to be exercising or isolating one muscle, let's say like a bicep. Uh, it's more natural for it to actually do a more of like a fuller body exercise. Let's say push-ups does like, you know, works out your pecs, works out your stomach, and it works out all these other things. So, what I like about this guy is that he talks about basically six exercises where there, you know, you have things like push-ups, you have pull-ups, you have uh, ab workouts, 
uh, what are the workouts and, I, and, I, and I call a couple other different ones and eventually uh, the end goal that he basically puts is that you want to do one arm pull-ups uh, you want to be able to do one arm push-ups you know with sufficient amount of repetitions let's say like five or ten uh, each time and you can actually build up over time and you actually don't even need to lift a single weight because the progression he does like with step by step uh, that he mentions in the book is that you go from completely never having worked out to the full level so what are the credentials of this guy so this guy apparently actually uh, people came to him for help uh, they're like okay so these guys are in jail right it's like a do or die situation it's like either you get really tough and strong or uh, you know you're gonna become somebody's bitch in jail you know or, or you could get killed so uh, it's like a do or die situation. So he came up with a systematic way, like a, a almost like something that would have been otherwise forgotten in a modern uh, sphere of, uh, you know, gym going uh, idea that you can only build muscle in the gym. But the idea is that you want to have a fantastic body that is functionally strong. That's the idea. Without also, without actually sacrificing things like you know, uh, getting. Uh, injuries that there's a lot of sports people that you know uh, injure their joints and all those other uh, things that probably most people wouldn't want to happen so basically six different exercises you know the main ones I would say the push-ups and you know squats he has different squats eventually you could also do one like squats but if they think about it like you know let's say an average man could be like 200 pounds or 250 pounds and if he could do one-legged squats he's, he's practically doing um, you know 250 pounds with one leg and that would translate to like a 500 pound machine almost or maybe like okay let's say 400 pounds but still it's a ridiculously amount of uh, thing but the other benefit is that he could do it anywhere anywhere you know it doesn't matter if you're in a hotel room it doesn't matter if you're like in a park it doesn't matter where where you are you could just like you know do some push-ups here uh, do some squats, do, do all these different things. And this way, you could actually keep the, the body in a fantastic condition all the time. So the idea is that it also eliminates the uh, need to go to the gym to have a fantastic body. Just that's, that's been actually one of my issues, right? You know, I've, I've had these gym memberships, I've spent so much money on gym memberships specifically. And, you know, I would go for a while, like a month or two, and then I would drop off. Uh, perhaps maybe the issue that I faced is that maybe there is a lack of system or like you know or most people really don't understand like you know the way the idea of strength is built so that's why you have you have to go to the right teacher that, that could teach you the things so so far I haven't been really following this book specifically you know I haven't started the program but the idea is that you could actually start with where you are so six exercises and has ten steps you know, the master level one would be like, you know, one on push up. But it helps you uh, figure out which step you're on by, let's say, mastering the step that you're on. One of the most important things that people do as masters is that they're masters of the basics. So when you have 10 steps, you know, before you move on to step six, you want to actually master step number five. So let's say that would be with the push ups, it could be like, let's say, two sets of 30 repetitions at a certain push-up uh, position and um, once you master that then you can move on to the next step and if you can't do that one you can just go back to the previous step and master that even some more so that's the idea and the idea is that because you have the steps and you could actually take a notebook you actually said just take a regular cheap notebook it's not gonna crash it's not an iPhone it's not electronic uh, nothing's gonna happen to it just write down the exercises that you did so this way you could actually log down okay so today I did like 10 10 uh, you know regular push-ups or 20 regular push-ups or whatever it is like 20 squats so you could actually check later so, like beating your own best the whole idea is a lot of times that people are too busy looking at what other people are doing and but in reality what you want to be doing is bettering your own best because the only person you're really competing with is yourself you know different people have different um, uh, let's say genetic uh, predispositions or like let's, let's say some people are fantastic at doing math other people are great at playing piano Fan some people are fantastic athletes so some, like for example like somebody that's like seven feet tall 
probably would be better at basketball than somebody that's six feet tall. Of course, they have to train too, but it really it gives them a different leg up. So basically, that's all the different concepts. My plan actually is to make the system mine. So just by putting the super champion conditioning, because you know, like I'm not planning to be a convict, you know, never gonna be a convict. And by making it my own and not judging a book by the cover. So like you see, you have this guy doing a one arm push up thing. Uh, you actually can make this a lot of fun. Like you see, like, for example, here's a pull up step. You know, this is like step number three. So this guy's like uh, pulling up from like a base or a platform. So that's kind of cool. So to round it up is this, is that the system is very important. I like that there's 10 steps, each one that you can master and you can figure out which step you're on. You could go from progression to progression to progression. You don't need a gym membership. You could just write down your results in a notebook, which is really kind of cool. And uh, in the end, really, what is it that you really want? You know, my ideal is to have a healthy, healthy, strong body that also kind of looks good that, you know, I'm more than happy with that, but a functionally healthy, strong body that uh, radiates an aura of confidence and that, you know, you're just happy with the body that you have. That's, that's the idea. You always want to be happy with what you are, with what you have, yet at the same time, you always love to learn new material and move on to the next step. So that's all, always the idea of bettering your best, but always being thankful, grateful, appreciative, and feeling blessed for all the great blessings that you have. That, you know, th this is more of like a spiritual concept, but in, in a sense, everything is spirituality uh, when it comes down to it. So before moving on, basically just keep championing one out. You're a leader, you're a champion, and you can do it. If, if this person could, did it, could do it, you can do it too. You know, there's whatever the mind of man can conceive and bring itself to believe, it can achieve. All right, I'm out.